Hello everyone and welcome back to the city of Finkafin in City Skylines. Look at this traffic mess I zoomed into. I wanted to start with the view of our city sign, which is great. Everything's been going great. I also found a cool new mod, uh, <coughs> which I'm going to talk about in a second. The only bad thing with it is that it messed up my city a little bit. Anyway, so <laughs> the, the city is called, um, I'm sorry, the mod is called Building Themes, and it allows you to, for example, uh, let's take the airport here, think of an airport, think of an airport. So it adds a new theme button on the top right here, and it allows you to switch between European, International, and so on. Oh, I happen to have downloaded um, a couple of new themes that were created by the same uh, modder that uh, created this building theme mod. And uh, so two things it, it really does. Um, it allows you to select different themes, but you have to have a another mod to go along with it, which is the um, European theme unlocker uh, and vice versa for all the maps, which means that you can be playing a European theme map and have um, non-European theme buildings and you can be playing on like a standard map and have European theme buildings. Um, and to not get too confusing, uh, I'm just going to go through a couple of things you must do to keep your European theme if you use this mod and that is to enable theme management for this district and click on European. Otherwise, this will happen. We now have like tall buildings of the standard map. And um, I'll have to demolish these and and fix it. I, I did change, once I realized it's, it's doing that, let me see where's my there it is, Riverside Park. Once I reali realized realized that it's doing that, I went ahead and put in European theme um, everywhere. Now, one one thing I, one thing you could do is if the building is not full uh, high, you know, five levels in this case, um, it will upgrade to the next level and change to normal. Um, but you know, it might not do that. So. I also have what they call an eyedropper tool and I can select this for example and press T with that mod installed it will make a, it will make a copy of it and I can place it next to yeah place it next to it there and it looks like it didn't do it anyway so they're gonna build something else uh, it didn't quite fit, I guess. Or is it just building the same one that I placed? Let's find out. Let's go full speed here. It might be building the same one, only it's taken a bit. Yeah. So I essentially replaced that uh, building, you know, without demolishing the other one, but you still kind of demolish it. So it still, you know, starts over. Um, so in a sense, I better just clear down my city, have these guys build, build you know, proper buildings back in. Um, I didn't mean for this to happen. And um, that's kind of how you learn. I mean, nobody told me that in in the comments or in uh, in the mod, uh, you know, description, anything like that. It will change how your buildings if your buildings are not leveled up all the way. These guys leveled up and... Um, Built tall buildings. Another thing it does, it unlocks, it unlocks all the s the schools and uh, you know police stations and all that sort of stuff. It unlocks it all, uh, all of them. So you can like put different looks, different looking schools and police stations and so on in your city. Uh, let's see if any of them snuck in here. That's possible. It's possibly not one I want. Although it's pretty neat looking. Uh, Mr. here with the shop. I have to rebuild that. 
And of course, it's likely a few other ones, which is not terrible. That's that one's gonna upgrade, and this one should upgrade on its own. Um, eventually, I'm not sure what this needs to. Increased value of the land. Oops. And it's it's likely that these windmills are not helping them. So I'm going to remove the windmill and put it over here. Or not have windmill at all. I haven't quite decided. But I think, I think I'll keep the windmills just because. I uh, can't have too much power. The the dam I built down this uh, down this river in this water isn't working, so <laughs> I'll have to you know this is a fail on my part. It looks cool to um, have you know look at cars drive on it and stuff. And we can probably like follow somebody. Yay! Look at this. We're on top of the truck. There's no need to fear. I'm just gonna take a drive. For everyone to hear, so it's gonna keep telling me I have new buildings because of that, you know, that change in that mod. Um, let's see what else I need to clean up really quick. Looks like there is one here that's leveled up all the way, so I don't want you or you. I don't want you. There's a few other ones of you that I don't want. Yeah, it's gonna hit our population a little bit, but you know what? That that's okay. They'll come back. Look, you know, I mean, this is cool and all, but uh, very modern and whatever. I guess I could leave that one. I guess that one specifically, the oddball building that's not hero style. I'll leave it until it burns down on its own. I'm sure there's a few other ones that I'm missing. There's a few here. And then I'll get to the real meat and potatoes of what I was going to do today. And that is not that you should have meat and potatoes all day or today uh, at all specifically. Especially if you already had your lunch and it's not anywhere near time to eat again. I probably just deleted more houses than I wanted to. Um, we're going to go ahead and build the other themed buildings zones that I um, intended to. So for example, policies here, I have Stockholm row houses enabled in the themes. And uh, I'll, I'll try to put a link to all of these in the descriptions um, of the video. So go in the description below once the video is over with. And if you want to try this craziness out, I'm guessing it'd be fun to do like a multicultural sort of city map where you have, you know, things. And I thought it would be a good thing for my playthrough to show these off and improve the look and the feel of our amazing city so far. You know, even if you kind of don't ignore all these problems that are flashing on the screen and uh, poking my eye out, it's still a pretty amazing city. <laughs> so this is going to... This is set for uh, Stockholm Row Houses and there are... Um, uh, what am I trying to say? Zones, yes. It, it, there's going to be a low density commercial and residential. And nothing else will build because on that theme, the, there isn't any like high density or anything. There's no offices and there's no indus industry at all. So uh, let's put in some low density commercial to see how. Um, in fact, let's start with the housing because we want to put housing over here and we wanted to um, make sure that the power gets taken up top with with the housing and I think I can put I can put commercial in the uh, entryway here like that uh, and then we'll continue with housing. And I'm I'm just gonna hope that this works and it's not broken. It looks like some someone has started building. Um, and my speed is not going very fast. Let me see if I went 
Okay, I didn't go into this area, so this is still uh, whatever district this is, Grand Boulevard. Okay, back to more zoning. Okay, we're gonna put houses all around here. Like so. Um, there's obviously a limitation of how many buildings there are, or what they're gonna look like. I mean, there's only, you know, there's like, I believe, 10 or 15 different models for the Stockholm row houses. Uh, so, you know, don't expect like 50,000. What's going on? Oh, I have, okay, I have some new props. I wanna get to that in a minute. Yes, I know there's a new building. All right, low density commercial. There, housing here. It feels like they're building slow. Um, I'm going to I'm going to sort of manually put in um, some commercial on the edge here we need to kind of have the main road here commercial and definitely look watch out for the noise that's not that's the wind noise noise will get to these houses but I think that's fine there's apparently noise from all of the commercial areas anyway so uh, I'm hoping that that this isn't gonna be a problem. It looks like I'm getting all sorts of other looking, uh, all sorts of looking homes here. Come on, did I put policies? I did. I put Stockholm Row houses. Do it. Give me those. Give me those, don't give me other stuff. Don't do not do it. I think that's one of them. We will find out. This is definitely not one of them. Uh, same with that. I'm just gonna lay all this out. Lay it on them. And cross my fingers. Um that it will be fine you know single block take that out um looking to put more commercial over here okay and then the other zone and of course, I laid out the, these roads, uh, you know, without what's it called, uh, without having it be part of the video because that would take time to lay out the roads. And I think I'm needing more zoning of sorts. We're gonna put more commercial. That's just like abundantly crazy probably do some over here but I feel like I have enough so why don't I put more commercial zoning in here yeah I don't know that much and there next to that big hunk of uh, train station I also took the liberty and putting some trees around our uh, district for the football stadium and also around the airport. I have a mod that allows me to uh, put in uh, airplane taxiways and actual runways so I could like build a runway if I wanted to. It's not gonna be used by anyone obviously but uh, I could build it if I wanted to I that's that's how I put the taxiway in right there 
you know. So I could be like, hey, why don't we do a thing this way over here? But it won't really because there's just, you know, things in the way. Uh, I'm gonna put in this jetliner. It's a parked jetliner. I feel like we should have more things in the airport. So we're gonna... Yeah. We're gonna do... One over here. That needs to be road by the road. Do I have more of these? No, I don't. I think I think I just got one of them. I could put a few of these. Yeah, why don't I? I'm just gonna park some jetliners, guys. Hopefully, you don't mind. If there's too many, I need I need like a concrete. Uh, it's only like fifteen hundred for a jetliner anyway. Um, and. I'm not doing this correctly, so. Oh yeah, okay. it kind of kind of works. It kind of works. Okay. I thought maybe they're not gonna connect together, 100%, but it's fine. And why don't we do a taxiway next to it, and then we're gonna check out and see how how our um, how our buildings are doing. That's not gonna work, is it? But let's put a taxiway on this side. We can actually do a curve. No? Maybe not. Connect. Connect. Okay. Sweet. That, that makes a lot of sense. All right. And can we do like a thing to over here? No? Space occupied. Let's go. Let's let's just just go across into this. There you go. Kinda. That kind of works. I'm not happy with it, so don't fix this bit. Something like that. <laughs> Darn it, guys. I don't know. Anyway. We made it look busier. Uh, that it looks terrible. I'm gonna have to like delete all of that. All right, have we gotten anywhere with these? It's slowly building, but my demand is not very good. Um, so yeah, uh, these are kind of those buildings. It's very quiet out here. People are slowly moving in. Um, and I should make it more... Ah, that's the problem. Okay, okay. Yeah, I didn't do... Alright, let's do it. All right. I didn't actually go with this... District all the way down here. My bad guys, my bad. Alright, let's should fix this this zone. Okay, next uh, we have this zone which I l named Little UK because in the policies we're gonna build the UK terraced housing. Um, again, I believe there's commercial zoning and also uh, residential zoning and this has already got some traffic although I didn't even tell it that it could have traffic uh, maybe I'll have to switch this around and um, have it not take any heavy traffic they could go around all those heavy cars definitely go around all right 
uh, you notice that it says UK Industries there, and, and that's for Industry Zone. I'll get to that part in a little bit. Um, hit Little UK here, Policies, and go to Heavy Traffic Ban and move away from the cows and pigs, because that's really loud. Alright. See, my keyboard went dark. So, I'm going to put in... Um, Guessing not in the center of these roundabouts, but around the roundabouts, I'm going to put commercial. I'll leave the centers for, for parks. And we'll put commercial out there. Just kind of in the center area. That's why I want commercial. Commercial zoning. And you know what? That's not going to work at all because I just made it. High density. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna try to hurry up and do this. Uh, and you notice that I took the time and put in some bus stops. I didn't put in any train stations or um, subway or metro because there's one close, and I just made the bus stops go and stop by the uh, metro there and. Um, I don't have an actual train station here, but I could put one in. Okay. Um, we will also commercially do this. And then um, this part. And then for the rest, we will just pile in the residential. And this looks like it might take a little bit for me to have the actual houses all built in which kind of sucks but I don't really care honestly it will take some time okay um, I can also do more commercial on the edges because you know those guys don't care if it's like noise and, and, and farms behind them and stuff and train stations and it'll be like a little district for people to come out and shop out in the little UK all right so we're gonna let that brew and build and peek at this again um, we'll see we'll see how they do if uh, some of these houses do not upgrade to the next level because they would just all look like you know bigger houses versus the tiny ones like the, the tiny one just is the level one so I, I might have to think about that if I want to um, have them all look the same or not if they all upgrade then they would not look the same and I'm gonna go ahead and, and demolish these because I don't want to wait for them to think about rebuilding. I think that corner shop might be a good one, but I don't know, so just get rid of that. Get rid of these two. We don't have time for you guys. Alright, uh, how about you? I don't think you're I don't think they're it either. Are you it? Are you one of the Who who knows? What are you doing here? Hmm. Remove. Saw another one. I forgot about this one here. Okay. Has anyone else built giant buildings? I, I think these were here and I just didn't take them down. Uh, I don't know. I'll come back. I'll come back with that. Did I forget about you? I did. So you know, this this was a cool idea. I, it might have given me given me a bit of work as far as um, having to clean up the city afterwards. But it looks okay now. Like I don't have any giant buildings out in the old Finkapin area, and these are all normal. 
little Stockholm is gonna be cool, it's gonna be cute, it's up on the hill. Same with little UK. And this industry zone. Um, I also got a mod that is an, it's an, uh, building level lockers. So I can actually go into this and put, you know, like I, I can press the button and it will lock it to that level one building. So it keeps that, um, level available, but these just won't level up because of the, uh, uh, because of the, um, the way the mod is made for uh, zoning, whatever it's called, themes, building themes, dear lord, all right. But for the U for the industries, somebody made a bunch of UK style industry buildings. There isn't a, there isn't a policy for theme yet. Uh, so what I'll do is I have this locked at level one industrial zones because all their all that buildings that he added I'm probably making like a little sense all the buildings he added are level one industry and they should all come in looking pretty good and I can use the building eyedropper tool to copy them over if really if they don't if they don't end up being built um, some of them are likely not going to be the UK ones, um, which you know, like this isn't. Uh, I, don't, I don't even know which one it's supposed to be. Um, yeah, we're gonna remove that one. We're gonna remove this one. Uh, I'm guessing I should also. I don't know if this. I don't know if this is gonna help, but I'm gonna enable and do um, European. So then I don't get. So for these ones, I really have to look at what the mod added and filter out the rest. Like I think this is one of them. I think the juice on. Uh, this is definitely not it. So I can remove this one. And I, I could keep. I could just keep doing that. <laughs> Literally, I'll, I will keep doing that if I need to, until they all build uh, what they're intended to build. Like I don't really want those guys either. I might be destroying something that I shouldn't, because I don't know what they look like. Uh, laminate floors, again, basic factory, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Uh, time is flying. Today's episode must have been kind of confusing for you guys. Because it was also confusing for me. I tried to display those, those mods for you guys. Uh, there's an ore truck. Cool. Let's go, let's go through the mountain uh, because we can. So uh, we're <coughs> we're going through the mountain while I'm talking about what I did. I I tried to display those um, mods there with the theme building, and it's really cool that somebody came up with this and they're doing that. Uh, you can go ahead and try it for yourself if you feel like you want to be adventurous with your cities. It's um, it's definitely a truckload of traffic here. Pun. Um, yeah, I definitely have to keep an eye out on on things and how they go. The UK industries zone that I created will eventually be. I'll be able to um, specialize that into the UK Industries theme because the guy is working on making that mod available as well. And I'm s assuming a lot of these are going to show up. Um, while this is going, I'm going to go ahead and look 
the what <laughs> at the name of uh, the motor he was he's pretty cool uh, he's got a name all right let's see go to my collections I'm glad this trucker is still trucking around oh no he's not okay so I have to select somebody I have to select somebody else to, to drive around in why don't we slow down some dudes and not spend all this time okay while you guys look at that <laughs> we'll find out this guy's name Bo Former that's his name and I'll really I'll have a link in the description for for all his uh, mods that I display today and we're gonna go and look at how things look like again um, I should not press escape but there we go does that look like sort of homes in Stockholm hopefully hopefully it does it could be better placed um, so why don't we do why don't we do this we can select it we press T move it down uh, actually it's just copying it over so let's copy this one create a few more like it uh, I can get this one create a few more like it see that's how it works that's the eyedropper tool I just filled out this street with houses um, and I'm happy with it let's see what our British houses look like it's um, not so fancy apparently these guys these guys decided to uh, build something else so we will have to remind them of who's boss and that is boss is me I can leave the gas station that, that seems like a good idea right then we can put you here and put you there is that okay? oh let's put you there okay and do we have any actual good spots with with houses and not uh, commercial or not commercial looks like we don't oh yeah we do right here nice you know what this is gonna be nice this is gonna be nice you guys um, gonna check really quick to see if I have any of the obvious British themed buildings and I don't think I do uh, the tanker here is pretty cool this is garments limited um, though I don't know how that looks like anything you put garments in so uh, yeah These are not working for me. These, these are not working. We'll have to we'll have to mess with them. There's a nice corner. Looks like a uh, pub. All right, that's gonna be it for today, you guys. Um, I'm just gonna find a cool spot to end our episode in. Probably by this. Um, probably by this. Yeah. And it is all about themed buildings today. Uh, changing the theme of, of your district and so on. Or, or the whole, I guess you can have district specific anything or, you know, mixed. You can just have mixed um, buildings. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was kind of confusing maybe. But hopefully you learned something. You can go and check out these mods. 
hit the like button if you enjoyed it share this out with your friends if you think they would enjoy it as well and subscribe if you like the content on my channel i will see you guys soon thank you for watching bye bye